Got my cup of coffee from Tim Hortons. Got my raspberry pie with pie hole on it. A couple weeks ago, I did a video on AdGuard, and I didn't do it locally. I did it in the cloud. I got a whole pile of emails about that saying, great job, but what about doing pie hole in a virtual machine? And I said, sure, why not? I got a reply back to that saying, can you do a video on that? That's what today's video is about. Before I go though, we have to give Chris at Crosstalk Solutions a huge thumb up for doing a good video and a good write up on his website on how to do this. Extremely well documented and a very, very good video. I followed it, did a couple test things online and it was just perfect. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the virtual machine, update it, install Pi Hole and add some ad lists and then we're gonna try it on my iPad down there. Some would say, why would you wanna pay money to have your Pi Hole in the cloud when you can just run it on a Pi or on a virtual machine at home. The problem with that is you have to be at home to use that or a VPN. What happens if you're just out and about and you just want to use the DNS without a VPN, turn all your traffic and stuff. Having it in the cloud for $5 a month to me is worth it. I've been using my AdGuard in the cloud for a month and a half now and I like it a lot. We need to create the virtual machine. So let's hop on over to Linode and do this. As you can see, I already have a couple virtual machines. Let's make a new one. We want to select Debian 10. We want to select Canada because I'm in Canada, but you guys can select whatever you want. We're going to go to shared CPU because we don't need any high resources for this. It, so we want to click Linode one gig for $5. Scroll down here. Let's call this Pi Hole Shared Pi Hole. We don't need a tag. I'm going to put in a password. You guys can use your own password or you could use Bitwarden like I do to do this. But this is just temporary to show you guys how to do this. After it's done and all that, I'm going to delete it. So we need to create. Uh, backups sure and we want a private IP we need a private IP because if we have to come in from the outside so then we'll click create this takes a couple minutes maybe about a minute maybe a minute and a half as it's doing that let's look at Chris's instructions very very good ones so let's scroll down here we can skip all the Raspberry Pi uh, the IP address and when you create a Linode virtual machine and Debian 10, it'll automatically do this part for you. You'll always get the same IP address. We need to run this script right here to install Pi-hole, but we just gotta wait for that Linode. Is it up yet? And it's up. So let's SSH to that, okay? So we need to SSH to this right here. So SSH space dash L root to 170.187.195.0.0. We, yes, and then let's put on a password. We're in. Let's do uh, update. apt-get update. It's already up to date, we're ready to go. So now let's copy that command from Chris's website. Copy, back to here, and paste. There we go, it's starting to install Pi hole. So we'll have to walk through the menu now. This installer will transform your device into a network wide blocker. Yes. Okay. It's free, but we would like your donation. I've given donations, so I don't need to do it again. This Pi hole server requires a static IP address. Have you done this already? And on Linode, like I said, it's already done for you. So we're gonna go like this and go continue. We are going to tell it to use Quad 9's unfiltered DNS. So we'll push tab. Okay. Pi hole relies on 30 party lists to order black sites. And we want to select yes to include Steven's black undefined host list. So yes. Do you want to install the web interface? We definitely want to do that because we need to be able to administrate it. And do a web server is required for the min server. Do you want to install the L Lite TPTD? Yes. 
Would you like to query logging? Sure, why not? Show everything, continue. Take a sip of my coffee, like Network Chuck does. Except for I'm lazy and I just go get a coffee this morning. Okay, so now we've got this. We should copy this password down just in case. So what I do is I take a screenshot. So we could change that password and in Chris's instructions, he also shows you how to do that. So let's do that. Pi hole space dash A dash P. New password set. Now we can go to our webmin. So we'll take this IP address right here, copy, put it in our browser, paste it. I'm gonna go admin. Boom, we're at that. We're now logged in and ready to go. So that's, that's the hardest part right there. The next thing we need to do is add some lists. Now in Chris's instructions, he sends us a, uh, sends a list so that we can share and that's it right here. I'll put a link to this into my video also. I'm not gonna add tons of these in here, but I'll add a couple. So the first one I wanna do, advertising lists. So let's go hosts, so we'll copy this. And on Pi-hole, we'll go to add list, put it in here. And what I like to do when I put this in here is I like to hosts, I wanna name them because if you just put them in here, there's no name. So I'm just gonna call it hosts. Then we'll add it. We'll add a couple more and then we'll show you how to update it. So we'll go to AdGuard DNS maybe. And this list automatically updates all the time. That's why it's green. So we'll add that in here. At the very end, we'll call this AdGuard DNS. At the very beginning there, you'll see right here, it says AdGuard DNS. So I just put that in here so we know what it is. We'll add that one. Okay, we've added them, but now we got to update them. So what we want to do is we want to go tools update gravity, and we're gonna click the update button. Success and done. It's all done, you're ready to rock. But now you just gotta add it to your computer. For my simplicity today, I'm just gonna add it to my iPad and then we'll test this and I'll show you the ads go up and down. After that, we'll do the next. I like going to Tom's Hardware because that place has just got lots of ads. They have to pay for their stuff anyway, somehow. So if I refresh this page, let's go to something on. Oh, it's not working, I think I know why. So we have to go to settings, DNS, right there. That is why. We need to change this because it thinks, Pi-hole thinks that you're at home behind your own router, but you're not. So we need to change this to that. And once we click save, this will work. There we go. Now the pages are working. So let's click on CPUs. CPUs came up, right? You see the CPUs? Maybe not, sorry guys. And if we go back to the dashboard, we're already blocking stuff. As you can see, 137, 40. If I click on something else, I'm just gonna show you this that it's working. Let's go to GPUs. Refresh that again. See, it is working. Very, very simple to do that. Next. We want to do unbound. In Chris's instructions, we want to go down here. We want to install this command right here to install unbound. So we're still SSH'd in. So let's install this. sudo apt install unbound dash y. It'll go out and do everything. And it says fail to start, but that's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm actually gonna go like this and do it this way first. I'm lazy. Control C, here, paste. That drops us into our command prompt or into our um, editor. Then we can copy this. I did that ahead of when I shouldn't have, my bad. So we'll copy this, paste it. We'll scroll up just to make sure everything's in there. And it looks like it's in there, okay. That's almost done. So we're gonna go Control X. And it asks you, do you wanna save this? Yes, because once we save this, it's gonna create this file. So we push yes, enter, 
done. Now, one more step for this to start working. What we need to do is still be in our pie hole. We need to go over to tools, oops, sorry, settings, DNS. We need to turn these two off. We need to go over here, and we need to type in 127.0.0.1. Um, pound, and then the port number we just set up. And now we can push that. Save. Done. Now what we want to do is go dashboard, make sure everything is working. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. <laughs> we didn't restart the service. SUDO service unbound restart. Now we can check to see if it's online. So we'll go up, status, done. Now my web page has worked. Now this page is working. Best picks. Raptor Lake. We're all good to go. Pretty easy to do. I want to show you guys a couple of ways of doing a firewall rule, though. You don't really want to leave 80 open to the world so people can just get into your pie hole. You probably want to lock that down. So what we need to do is create a firewall in our Linode. So we want to go over to Linode. Then we go over to Firewalls. We want to create a firewall. We're going to call this shared pie hole. Okay. And we want to select our shared pie hole, which is right there. We want to create that. We want to create a inbound or we want to create a rule. So the first we want to create is accept DNS, TCP. We want to go UDP interscription. We want to go in DNS. And we're going to allow everybody to do that. We want to add another one. So now we want to do a block. So we want to go drop rule, HTTP, protocol 80, block access. And then we want to go drop that. But we want to add a rule in there too. So we want to go add. HTTP, uh, description, add, oh, uh, HTTP, allow admin, home. And we want to go accept, and we want to select our source. Oh, uh, IP. So 75.154.254.61, which is my IP address, slash 32, we would allow that because we don't want just anybody to come in and see what we're doing. So we're going to allow that. Okay. And we want to move these around. Block. So on this rule set, we're allowing anybody to use the DNS, my IP address to access port 80, and then anybody else is blocked. So let's save this. I should still be able to get to pie hole because I'm behind the 61. Right? Yep, it's showing. But if I go on my iPad, which is not on the same network, it's on a different one. I'm going to verify that first, make sure. Here. Yep. We're on the Grand Stream router that's way over here. Let's go to. No. Site can't be reached. So what we've done is we've locked that down. So nobody else can get to the min but everybody can get to my DNS. You guys also want to block SSH access to this, not just 80, so let's do that. We want to click drop, SSH, block SSH, and add. So let's put this above the 80 rule. Should do that, because we don't want anybody else doing that. And we'll go save, done. Just like that. And if you need to add yourself to that, you can go into the rule, go edit, and instead of going all IPv6, you can just go your IP address. For example, mine, what I was gonna do there, 75.154.254.61 slash 32. This will allow it so I can SSH in from my home. We'll push accept. And done.
SSH block SSH drop. Okay. So what we've done is we've allowed DNS, we've allowed 80 from my IP address, and we've allowed port 22 from my IP address, and then blocked it for everybody else. So 22 and 80 is blocked for everybody else. Pretty easy video how to put Pi Hole in the cloud for you guys. Well, that's my video how to put Pi Hole in the cloud. If you have any questions or anything like that, let me know. I am getting questions from doing the ad guard in the cloud, and uh, I'm willing to help you guys. Questions can be emailed to me, link below for that. And uh, thank you for Chris for helping, and you guys all have a great day. Stay tuned for the next video. Oh, go like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.